हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू वेलकम टू यू ऑल ऑन आई एम गेट अकेडमी प्लेटफॉर्म जस्ट डू रिप्लाई बेटा एम आई ऑडिबल ऑडियो वीडियो इज क्लियर टू यू माय वॉइस इज लाउड एंड क्लियर वॉइस इज एब्सोल्युटली क्लियर और नॉट वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग गुड मॉर्निंग सो गाइज लेट स्टार्ट इल द लास्ट सेशन वी हैड अ डिस्कशन ऑन वॉट इज सिग्नल वॉट आर द सिग्नल प्रॉपर्टीज एज फार एज Uh, the signal, basic elementary signals are concerned. We have discussed about impulse signal, doublet signal. Before that, we have seen the unit step signal, rectangular signal, triangular signal, ramp signal, signum function. Every signal we have discussed, and also we have discussed the important properties based on the same. Where the impulse properties is very important, and we have seen the previous year gate questions also based on the same. so whenever i will pick any topic here whenever i will teach any topic here i will try to cover all the pattern of pyqs that has been asked in the last 30 year in the class itself so that is why my dear student you have a you have a big opportunity to create a wonderful notes here even those who are making the perfect notes from the first class when i supposed to end the chapter number 1 they will have a more than 120 pages content only in the chapter number 1 even 150 also if you are making a fantastic classroom notes so guys i am just give uh, just telling right now so that whenever you are attending any live class you should have a strong motivation to create the classroom notes in the live manner only and you should not miss any single live class okay you know the timing of live class you know the upcoming live lectures also so whenever upcoming live lectures will be there you can make their reminder you can set the reminder so that you will never miss any live class okay chali so today's class we are going to start after that we have seen how to write the mathematical equation from the signal waveform and how to draw a signal waveform from the mathematical equation yes bharat will try will try or level best to complete this and for isro exam if required then we will also i am planning to start some pyq series of isro also okay that also i will update very soon to you chali so student here we have xt equal to xt plus nt not where t not is the fundamental time period so i am talking about this ki of uh, ki just before that what we have already done we have also seen student how to integrate the signal waveform by using short trick or how to differentiate the signal waveform by using the short trick yes today's class we are going to start classification of signal where the first is periodic non periodic signal a signal which repeat itself after a certain amount of time that particular signal is known as periodic signal and in the periodic signal the signal will be repeat itself after a certain amount of time at that particular time period is known as fundamental time period so here t not is nothing but fundamental time period it means periodic signal is a signal which will repeat itself after a fundamental time period so if i talk about a cos omega t we know that a cos signal or sin signal is always a periodic and if it is periodic it must satisfy this equation also xt plus t not it means we can say that a cos of where i have changed i have just replaced this t with t plus capital t not so here omega is as it is and here i should write t plus capital t not and we know that this when we when i will open the bracket i will get a cos of omega t plus omega t not and we all know that as far as cos signal is concerned it is always periodic with the 2 pi period time so if i talk about the cos waveform this is my cos waveform as you all know cos 0 value is 1 cos pi value is minus 1 cos pi by 2 0 cos 3 pi by 2 0 here is pi here is 2 pi value is also 1 so this is the fundamental time period 2 pi it means it means here we know that ki sir this value should be equal to 2 pi that is why omega t not is should be equal to 2 pi so t not fundamental time period should be equal to what 2 pi upon omega 2 pi upon omega so fundamental time period should will be fundamental time period will be always 2 pi upon omega and we know that ki what is the relation between the 
omega and f omega is in frequency in radian per second and f is frequency in hertz so you can also say that sir omega is equal to 2 pi f where from here you can also say that ki sir omega is nothing but 2 pi upon t naught so when you will compare these two equation you will get to know ki frequency f is nothing but 1 upon t naught or t naught is nothing but 1 upon f so these are the basic relation these are the basics of signal cell system omega equal to 2 pi f or 2 pi upon t naught where t naught is the fundamental time period or f is the fundamental frequency in hertz and omega is the fundamental frequency in radian per second in radian per second yes so now student if a signal is periodic or not if a simple signal is given to you now if, if the time period is infinity then the signal will become non periodic then the signal will become non periodic what is the meaning of this t infinity t not infinity it means after infinity time of period still the time period is infinity but signal not repeat itself it means the signal is non periodic signal is non periodic so if i talk about the simple example as far as continuous time signal is concerned as far as continuous time signal is concerned where each and every value of time axis is possible when there is no break point in the time axis whenever any sinusoidal signal is present any single sinusoidal signal is present sin or cos whatever the value here it will always be periodic it will always be periodic how sir for the question number one if i want to check then fundamental time period t equal to what sir 2 pi upon omega 0 what is omega 0 sir it is 50 pi sir so ultimately what you will get guys pi pi get cancel out and you will get 1 upon 25 here and it is nothing but my fundamental time period similarly guys if i talk about this then fundamental time period capital t will be what it will be 2 pi upon you need to divide with this 10 pi so pi pi get cancel out 2 5 are 10 so you will get 1 by 5 here yeah. So just like this my dear student 1 or 2 fundamental time period 1 by 5 1 by 25 even if the question is like this ki sir x of t equal to x of t equal to sin of root 2 into t or we can say that uh, sin of pi t now tell me my dear student it is periodic or not it is periodic or not tell me the fundamental time period t equal to what 2 pi upon uh, root 2 2 pi upon root 2 so what you will get here root 2 root 2 cancel so you will get root 2 pi so root 2 pi second is my fundamental time period guys root 2 time second is my fundamental time period no 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 it is periodic that is the only that is why i am telling you dear student whenever any single time is there it is always periodic because it is a continuous time signal we'll talk about that non rational rational that term will come that term will come when two or more signals are or addition or we can say that two or more signals are present in the one equation xt okay so just remember my word my dear student whenever any this is the biggest mistake that a student can do now here you need to tell me what about okay not sign uh, pi t i am taking i am taking sign 2t come on okay so tell me what about the third question and fourth question whether you now tell me what is the fundamental time period for this so many students are saying okay 2 pi upon 2 sir 2 to cancel out answer pi is not pi is irrational sir so it is non periodic sir but it is 100% periodic now it is periodic only because we are talking about continuous time signal and in continuous time signal pi can be a fundamental time period pi can be a fundamental time period yes or no guys yeah. so this is a general mistake generally students committing this mistake First of all, you need to tell me guys, is this four examples clear to you or not beta? Shall we go for next? Shall we go for next? Yes sir, Shabash. So now I am going for next. Now student, fundamental time period, if the signal is just like this x1 t plus x2 t plus x3 t, here that concept will come that is rational irrational, okay? So student, whenever such type of signals is, will be present, then we have to follow certain steps. In the step number one, we have to find out, we have to find, we have to find T1 and T1 is nothing but what? 
2 pi by omega 1 t 2 t 2 is nothing but 2 pi upon omega 2 t 3 is nothing but 2 pi by omega 3 and so on we have to find t 1 t 2 t 3 like this. If I talk about the next step that is step number 2 in the step number 2 we have to find out or we have to check the ratio we have to check the ratio we have to check the ratio t 1 upon t 2 t 1 upon t 3 t 1 upon t 4 and so on. Step number 3 if the ratio of t1 and t2 from step 2 are rational if step 2 step 2 or we can say that if ratio if ratio of t1 upon t2 t1 upon t3 t1 upon t4 and so on are a rational number are a rational number are a rational number then then the signal is periodic then signal is periodic then signal is periodic otherwise if it is not if it is a non rational number or irrational number if it is a if the ratio is irrational number then the signal is then the signal is then the signal is non periodic then the signal is non periodic and the signal is non periodic yeah. now tell me guys what what is the next step step number 4 is if the step number 3 is periodic if the ratio of t1 upon t2 t1 upon t3 is the rational number then to find the fundamental time period t we should take the lcm of t1 t2 t3 and so on like this so this is the final fundamental time period of the x of t signal which is a addition of certain which is the addition of one or two periodic signals which is the addition of one or two periodic signals purushottam vaidhavi just do reply are you making notes parallelly or not beta shall i go for next slide or should i wait if you are writing if you need more time you can ask for time you can ask for time i will wait for you otherwise we should go for next tell me shall we go for next bharat Pushotam, Adai, do reply. Next or wait, N or W, N stands for next, W stands for wait, do fast. Type N or W in chat box. Die, type N or W in chat box, guys. And very good, Chali, Shavash. So now student, what is the meaning of irrational? So if the ratio of T1 and T2, ratio of T1 and T2 will become pi, then it is irrational. One minute, sir. Okay. So Purushottam need more time to that is why I am waiting. No problem. Purushottam beta complete it. I am waiting for your response. No problem. You guys can take your time. Purushottam says that now complete sir. Okay, very good. Very good, beta Purushottam. Shabash. Chali. So, what is the meaning of irrational now? Rational means the ratio of integers. The ratio of integer is nothing but a rational number. P by Q form. If P is an integer, Q is an integer, then the ratio of integer is nothing but the rational number. If you are taking the P by Q and if you are getting the pi, then student it is irrational it is irrational number root 3 is also a irrational number 22 by 7 is a rational number 22 by 7 is a rational number why sir because 22 itself a integer and 7 is also a integer and pi is its approximate value so if if, if directly pi is coming then you can't write ki sir pi is equal to 22 by 7 so now it's rational. no if pi is coming by taking the ratio of t1 and t2, t1 and t2 ka ratio agar pi aata hai, 
where it is irrational and signal is non periodic but if after taking the ratio of t1 and t2 you are getting 22 by 7 then it is rational and signal is periodic 3 by 4 of course rational number because 3 is integer 4 is integer and the ratio of integer is rational number only is it clear beta is it clear Chali. so let's start the first question question number 1 i am writing here question number 1 okay so for this question everybody try to solve this what should I find? So you should find first of all t1 and t1 is nothing but actually 2 pi upon the multiple of t. Multiple of t is pi by 3. So I should write here pi by 3. Similarly, what is t2? So you should write t2 is nothing but 2 pi upon 2 pi upon t multiple pi by 4. So you should write pi by 4 here. Now tell me right, what is t1? t1 value is nothing but 3 to the 6. 3 to the 6. Yeah. What about t2 dear student? So, T2 is nothing but again 4 to the 8. Yeah. So, now you can check the ratio of T1 and T2 and you will get to know okay, sir, 6 is also integer, 8 is also integer. Even you can cancel out also 3 also integer, 4 also integer. So, T1 upon T2 is a rational number because the integer number ratio. So, because it is a rational number, now the signal is periodic and the fundamental time period is nothing but LCM of Tell me guys, what is the LCM of 6 and 8? LCM of fundamental time period T is nothing but LCM of 6 and 8. So you should you should just start, you should just start the table of 8 because whatever the bigger number LCM. So 8 to the 16, 8 to the 24. Now 24 divisible by both. So you should write the answer 24. So 24 is my final answer for the question number 1. And question number 1 is periodic. Tell me beta Purushottam, is it clear or not? Purushottam, is it clear? Other students should also reply. Other students should also reply, is it clear or not? Bacho? Is this crystal clear? Chali. It is actually root t, root 2, root 2 and root 2 ke multiple of t, yes. So talk about question number 2 guys. Now question number 2, try to solve this. This question number 1 we have already completed now. Now it is time to solve question number 2. In the question number 2 if you will find T1 na, T1 so this is omega. So T1 is nothing but 2 pi upon omega 1. Omega 1 is nothing but 1 by 3. So actually it is 6 pi. So it is a 6 pi. So T1 value is 6 pi. Okay sir. What about T2? So T2 you should write 2 pi upon omega 2. Omega 2 is nothing but 1 by 4. So what you will get? You will get 4 to the 8 pi. You will get 8 pi here. So, T1 value and T2 value is coming here. No problem, sir. After that, you should take the ratio of T1, T2. When you will take the ratio, you will get to know ki 6 pi upon 8 pi. It will cancel or sir. Or cancel on ke baad 3 by 4. Again, 3 and 4 is integer. Ratio of integer is nothing but a rational number, sir. So, it is a rational number, sir. Rational number. Rational number, it means 100% periodic. 100% periodic means fundamental time period is nothing but LCM of T1 and T2. LCM of T1, T2. It means you should take the LCM of what is T1, 6 pi and 8 pi. What is the answer now? Tell me. 6 pi and 8 pi LCM is what? 6 pi and 8 pi LCM is what? Now here also some student will confuse. Now here also some student will confuse. Very nice. It will be 24 pi, sir. Pi also multiple. So 24, my is 24 pi will be the fundamental time period. Fundamental time period can be the multiple of pi, I am telling you. Hera, pi only in the T1 upon T2 ratio, it should not come. Direct fundamental time period in the continuous time signal, I am repeating. In a continuous time signal, the fundamental time period can be pi also, can be root 2 also, can be multiple of pi also. But the ratio of T1 upon T2 should not pi. The ratio upon T1, T2 should not root 3. I hope you are getting now. Whether it is not 24 beta 24 pi because pi is also multiple in the LCM, we are looking for the least common multiple factor. So, it should be multiplied with pi also. I think it is clear whether now question number 1 and 2 we have completed beta. Question number 3 do you want to try? Question number 3rd. So, in the question number 3rd if you will take the T1 value. Now, if you want to just check the periodicity, what is the short take my dear student? Actually, you are finding T1 as a, actually you are finding T1 as a 2 pi by omega 1 and you are finding T2 as a 2 pi by omega 2 and finally you want 
if you want to check the periodicity, you are, take, you are taking the ratio of T1 and T2. So, when you will take the ratio of T1 and T2, you will make 2 pi by omega 1 upon 2 pi by omega 2. So, ultimately cancel out and you will actually get omega 2 upon omega 1 actually. Yeah. It means instead of T1, T2 ratio, you can directly check omega 2, omega 1 ratio. If omega 1 and omega 2 is rational, then T1 upon T2 is also rational. And if omega 2 upon omega 1 is rational, then omega 1 upon omega 2 is also rational. Because if 3 by 4 is rational, 4 by 3 is also rational. Are you getting my point? Rational matlab ratio of integer na. If P by Q is rational, then Q by P is also rational. Shabash. It means, sir, if such type of question will come where we directly need to just check the periodicity, then no need to find T1, T2 and all. Just check the ratio of omega 1, omega 2. Just check the ratio omega 1, omega 2. So, omega 1 here T multiple 1, here T multiple root 2. So, when you will check the ratio omega 1, omega 2, you will get the ratio 1 by root 2 and it is irrational. So, that is why non-periodic. So, that is why non-periodic. That is why guys, non-periodic. Question number third is non-periodic. Question number third is non-periodic. I hope it is clear to you, but pyare bacho. I hope it is clear to you. Non-periodic is clear. If it is clear, then go for better. Question number four. I am having space here. I will solve the question number four here only. I will solve the question number four here only. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Question number four. Four. Question number four. Instead of taking the ratio of T1 and T2, you can directly take the ratio of omega 1 and omega 2, omega 2 upon omega 1. Yes, any, any. 4 1 is also non periodic, sir, because when you will take the ratio of omega 1, omega 2, na, you will get pi. Because when you will take the ratio of omega 1 upon omega 2, na, you will get pi. And pi says that it is irrational. Pi says that it is irrational. It is irrational, matlab, non periodic. Irrational, matlab, non periodic. Yeah. Irrational matlab non periodic. Is it clear, guys? So, I think till now you guys do not have any single doubt. All of you guys, please do reply fast. Shall we go for next? Shall we go for next? Shall we go for next? Chali, one more thing, bachcho, one more thing. If I talk about my signal, is this? If I talk about my signal, is this? A plus or a naught plus a into sin of omega 0 t plus theta. So, do you know student, if I will multiply with a or b or c, whatever the amplitude, it does not affect on the periodicity of signal. It only affect the periodicity, only affect the multiple of t. So, can we say that the fundamental time period is, fundamental time period is independent to, fundamental time period is, independent to time shifting is independent to time shifting because here is phi or 2 phi or 3 phi does not matter. So, it is independent to time shift. It is independent to even time reversal also. Time reversal also. It is independent to amplitude scaling. Amplitude reversal. Amplitude reversal or even amplitude shifting or even amplitude shifting. It means if you are adding or subtracting any DC value, this is amplitude shifting, it also does not affect the periodicity of signal. It means it is independent to these, it only depends on the fundamental time period is only depends on, tell me guys, it only depends on what? It only depends on, follow bacha, follow. It only depends on time scaling. It only depends on time scaling. Yeah. So, important note, important note. We should note down this important note. No, important note. All of you guys just do reply. Is this crystal clear? Bacho? Shall we go for next? Shabash, Arisha. Welcome, Beta Arisha. Welcome, Shabash. Try to all will become. I am today. I am very happy that most of students are attending in live manner. So, all of you please attend in live manner and whatever your past feeling you can just reflect in the comments of this videos. How many of you guys just commented, not in live chat, I am talking about commented. Just share your experience in comment section so that other future learner also will have a motivation to attend. 
ओके गाइस सो फॉर द अनमैचेबल लर्निंग ऑफ सिग्नल्स कंट्रोल डिजिटल यू नो दैट यू हैव टू फॉलो सो जस्ट नीड टू शेयर द एक्सपीरियंस ओके चलिए सो नाउ आई एम गोइंग फॉर द नेक्स्ट ईयर आई एम एक्सपेक्टिंग दिस क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम यू ऑल ट्राई टू सॉल्व दिस गाइस ऑल ऑफ यू ट्राई टू सॉल्व दिस आई एम गिविंग यू आई एम गिविंग यू प्रॉपर टाइम आई एम गिविंग यू टू मिनट टाइम इवन आई एम सेटिंग ए टाइमर ऑल ऑफ यू ट्राई टू सॉल्व दिस ऑल ऑफ यू ट्राई टू सॉल्व दिस try to solve guys try to solve tell me whether it is periodic or non periodic वेरी नाइस पीरियोडिक सर वेरी गुड पीरियोडिक है ये वेरी गुड पीरियोडिक है नाउ टेल मी फंडामेंटल टाइम पीरियड टेल मी द फंडामेंटल टाइम पीरियड नाउ फंडामेंटल टाइम पीरियड अच्छा अच्छा फंडामेंटल टाइम पीरियड पूछ रहे हो सर यस सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल टेल मी इज इट पीरियोडिक नॉन पीरियोडिक हाउ टू डिसाइड Sir, just by taking the ratio of omega one, omega two, sir. So what is omega one? What is omega two, sir? Omega one, omega two. Here is ten, sir. Ten by four, sir. Ten by four. So five by two. Let me say ratio of integer. Means hundred percent rational number, sir. Rational number. Rational number means it is hundred percent periodic. Hundred percent periodic. Now looking for the fundamental time period. Cha. So t one is nothing but two pi by omega one. Omega one is nothing but ten. Yeah. What is t two? T two is nothing but two pi by omega two. Omega two is nothing but four. Ye. So it means it is pi by five. Five to the ten. It is nothing but pi by two. Two to the four. Ye. So pi by five and pi by two. So now fundamental time period t is nothing but what? T is nothing but LCM of LCM of fundamental time period. So it is pi by five and it is pi by two. Pi by five and pi by two. Now can you please tell me what is the answer? Can you please tell me what is the answer now? क्या बात है यार क्या बात है यार वेरी नाइस सो वेन एवर स्टूडेंट इट इज ऑल्सो ए कॉन्सेप्ट इट इज ऑल्सो ए कॉन्सेप्ट इफ यू आर लुकिंग फॉर द एल सी एम ऑफ इफ यू आर लुकिंग फॉर द एल सी एम ऑफ दिस टर्म कि सर एन वन अपॉन डी वन एन टू अपॉन डी टू लाइक दिस सो इट मीन्स एल सी एम यू हैव टू टेक द एल सी एम ऑफ नोमरेटर एल सी एम ऑफ एन वन एन टू एन थ्री एन सॉन And upon HCF, upon HCF of D1, D2, and so on. Yeah, yeah, LCF. So now, what is the fundamental time period? T. The fundamental time period is nothing but pi second. Now, the fundamental time period is nothing but pi second because in denominator we have what is the HCF of two and five? HCF of two and five is one only. So fundamental time period is nothing but pi second. Fundamental time period is nothing but pi second. Yeah. Fundamental time period is nothing but pi second. All of you guys, क्या बात है रिशाब? क्या बात है शाबाश very good. चलिए. So answer is nothing but pi second. Answer is nothing but pi seconds. Pi seconds. Pi seconds. Okay. Now can you solve this question, guys? Rishab, those who will solve this question, definitely student, you can feel confidence. Try to solve this. I am giving you one minute time here. All of you, because it is a little bit calculative. Calculation is involved. That is why I am giving you sufficient time. Calculation part is involved here. Try to solve it. Trigonometric formula you need to apply first of all. What is two sine cos? What is two cos sine? That you should know. Thank you. 
Still no one has replied answer. I am expecting answer from you all. Manoj, Pashwatam, Rishabh, Vedai, I hope you are doing this. I know you all are attempting. If you need more time, you can. Okay. Pushwatam has solved it. Kya baad hai? Kya baad hai Pushwatam? Very good. Very good for attempt. First of all, this amplitude shifting doesn't affect the periodicity. So because here amplitude shifting is there, we should not more focus on that. We should directly focus on this term, second term. Here if I will divide by 2 and multiply with 2, it will become 2 cos and not 2 sin cos. Because cos, because cos angle is more, so here is 4 pi by 3 into t into sin of 2 pi by 5 into t, yeah, 4 pi by 3, 4 pi by 3, 2 pi by 5, yeah. So 2 cos a sin b, 2 cos a sin b, achha, achha. 2 cos a sin b, half is outside. 2 cos a sin b is nothing but sin a plus b, sin minus sin a minus b. Sin a plus b minus sin a minus b. If 2 sin a cos b, then sin a plus b plus sin a minus b. So here is sin a plus b, a plus b matlab ye, 4 pi by 3 plus 2 pi by 5 into t. Ye, cos a plus b. Sin a plus b minus sin a minus b. a minus b matlab ye, 4 pi by 3 minus 2 pi by 5 into t. Ye. So ultimately it will be what guys? 2 into half of should write here sign of, we should take the LCM, LCM is nothing but 5, 3, 15, yeah, 15 LCM. So, here 3, 5, 15, 5, 4, 20 pi plus 5, 3, 15, 3, 2, 6 pi into t and minus it will be sign of, here, here LCM of 15, 3, 5, 15, 5, 4, 20 pi minus 5, 3, 15, 3, 2, 6 pi, yeah. How many of you are getting same to same? Till here, trigonometry is involved, guys. How many of you know this trigonometry? 11, 12th. So it will be actually 26 pi upon 15 t. And minus it will be sine of 20 minus 6, it means 14 pi. 14 pi upon 15 into t. Yeah. Now you should check T1 and T2. T1 and T2 ratio is integer ratio, sir, because this pi pi get cancelled out. So it means you can say the signal is periodic, sir. Now the fundamental time period is what? So T1 is nothing but sir 2 pi by omega 1. This is omega 1, 26 pi by. So I should divide 26 pi by 15. Yeah. Is it T1? What is T2? So T2 is nothing but 2 pi by. T2 is nothing but 2 pi by. This 14 pi by 15. 14 pi by 15. Yeah. So ultimately now what you will get? Pi pi get cancelled. So what you will get ultimately? You will get actually 15 by 2 set 26 cancel 13 times. So this is my T1. Yeah. Similarly, what is T2? So T2 is nothing but so pi pi cancel out. So you will get 15 by 7. How many of you are getting this? 15 by 13 and 15 by 7. Now you should take the ratio. Fundamental time period T is nothing but actually LCM of LCM of 15 by 13 and 15 by 7. So it means it is actually equal to LCM of 15 and 15 and in denominator it will be HCF of 13 and 7. So that is why ultimate answer is 15 seconds only. 15 seconds only because 13 and 7 HCF is 1. Ye. Shabash, Rishabh, Vedai, Purshotam. You all are correct only, beta Shabash. Very nice. Very nice. All of you guys, please do reply fast. Shall we go for next? All of you guys, please do reply fast. Shall we go for next? Yeah. If periodic signal xt is shown in the figure, if periodic signal xt is shown in the figure, the fundamental time period of the signal xt in hertz is. Can you solve this question within 5 seconds or 10 seconds? Because in diagram itself you can observe the fundamental time period.
पुरुषोत्तम व्हाट इज द आंसर ऑफ दिस बेटा एब्सोल्युटली एब्सोल्युटली बिकॉज़ द फंडामेंटल टाइम पीरियड इज 1 फ्रॉम द डायग्राम इटसेल्फ यू कैन से दैट दिस सिग्नल इज अ पीरियोडिक सिग्नल एंड अ ट्रायंगुलर नेचर विल रिपीट इटसेल्फ आफ्टर अ 1 सेकंड ऑफ टाइम 1 सेकंड ऑफ टाइम एंड यू नो दैट द रिलेशन बिटवीन टाइम एंड हर्ट्ज 1 अपॉन t सो 1 अपॉन 1 सो आंसर इज 1 हर्ट्ज ओनली One hours numerically entry question, very easy question, very easy one marks question. It deserve only five second effort. It deserve only five second without no using notebook and pen. If you are able to solve without using notebook and pen, that is called hawa me uda denge. Yes or no, guys? Hawa me. That is only called hawa me. Shall we go for next? Shall you now? This is also a numerically entry question, two marks question, AC nineteen. Try to solve this. Try to solve this question fast. Come on. All of you guys, do reply. So this amplitude shifting doesn't affect. You should only check T one, T two, omega one, omega two, omega one, omega three. So you will get to know that the ratio of omega one and omega two rational. The ratio of omega one, omega three is also rational. Yeah, bad they are very good. So I think you all get the time answer. T1 is nothing but actually 2 pi by pi. T2 is nothing but actually 2 pi upon this 2 pi by 3. And T3 is nothing but actually 2 pi upon pi by 2. So now you will see that fundamental time period T1 is 2. Now you will see the fundamental time period T2 is 3. Now you will see the fundamental time period T3 is 2 to the 4. Yeah. Now finally you need to take the ratio of LCM of T1, T2, T3. So LCM of T1, T2, T3. Yeah. So now ultimate answer will be LCM of 2, 3, and 4. LCM of 2, 3, and 4. So what is the LCM? Four to the eight, four to the twelve. Twelve is divisible by all, so answer will be twelve. Your final answer will be twelve, guys. The final answer will be twelve. Your final answer will be twelve. Yes. All of you guys, please do reply fast. Shall we go for next? All of you guys, please do reply. Shall we go for next? Tell me what is the answer of this. Here asking for. अच्छा, first of all tell me is it periodic or not? First of all tell me is it periodic or not? After that the question will come. You should tell me is it P or NP? P or NP? Shabash, periodic. Shabash, very good. So you should start the question from here. Sir, sine square t can I multiply with one minus cos of two t upon two? And plus cos of two t is here. So actually, ultimately, f of t will become what? 
सर एफ टी विल बिकम एक्चुअली वन बाई टू मतलब जीरो पॉइंट फाइव एंड वन माइनस हाफ इज नथिंग बट प्लस जीरो पॉइंट फाइव इन टू कॉस ऑफ टू टी ए सो इट मीन वट इज योर एफ टी का आइस ये नाउ यू हैव टू चेक द फ्रीक्वेंसी बिकॉज द फर्स्ट टर्म इज ए डीसी टर्म फर्स्ट टर्म इज डीसी टर्म सो डीसी फ्रीक्वेंसी इज जीरो ओनली एंड सेकेंड फ्रीक्वेंसी इज टू इन ओमेगा so in in hertz in hertz it is nothing but f equal to r guys you have to divide with 2 pi here so omega upon 2 pi so here is 2 upon 2 pi so you will get cancel so 1 by pi so 1 by pi hertz so answer is b for bombay f has the frequency component at 0 and 1 by pi hertz bolo kya bolte ho guys all of you are getting or not all of you are getting or not 1 by pi ye option number b for bombay shall we go for next Shall we go for next now? चलिए 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 आगे चलिए ये बताइए जरा नाउ इट्स टाइम टू गिव यू प्रॉपर टाइम एंड गिविंग यू टाइम ट्राई टू सॉल्व इट ऑप्शन आर देयर नहीं है अच्छा ये किसका है है क्या पानी उसमें ही नहीं बोतल में नहीं ठीक है All of you guys just do reply. Shall we go for next now, Rishab? Okay, twenty. क्या बात है क्या बात? So first of all, student, you have to open the bracket. So when you will open the bracket, you will get cos of two hundred pi t, cos two hundred pi t plus zero point five into cos of two hundred pi t multiple of cos of forty pi t. ये cos of 200 pi t cos of 40 pi t now here you can say that the first term will as it is sir cos of 200 pi t plus here is actually 1 by 1 by 5 0.5 is nothing but 1 by 2 so here you you can write 1 by 2 and i am also multiplying with 2 so it will be actually 1 by 4 into 2 of i am writing it is 2 cos cos so what is 2 cos cos guys is this this effort uh, you can do here only So two into here you have cos. Here you have cos. Yeah. So cos two hundred pi t. I am writing first after the cos a cos b is nothing but what one by four outside cos a plus b plus cos a minus b. So it will be cos two forty pi t plus one by four cos of a minus b. It means it is one sixty pi t. Yeah. Now you should check the fundamental time period, guys. So fundamental here fundamental frequency is asking for. So fundamental time period is nothing but t equal to LCM of t1, t2, t1, t2, t3 like this. And similarly, fundamental frequency omega is nothing but reverse HCF of omega one, omega two, omega three and so. And if I talk about the frequency in hertz, then it will be actually HCF of it will be actually HCF of f1, f2, f3, f1, f2, f3 and so like this. Yeah. So you should check the frequency f1 here. The frequency f1 is nothing but what? When you will divide by two, you will get hundred. Yeah, f1 hundred. What about f2? F2 is nothing but one twenty. Yeah, one twenty. Shabash. What about f3, guys? So your f3 is nothing but eighty. So when you will divide by two pi, you will get one twenty eighteen hundred. Yeah. So 
So now what about the frequency guys? F, F is nothing but now HCF of F is nothing but now HCF of F1, F2, F3. F1, F2, F3. So what is the HCF? Now we should take the HCF of HCF of 100, HCF of 120, HCF of 80. So ultimately answer is what guys? 20. 20. So that is the correct answer option number A for Ahmedabad. Because asking in herds, Vedai, Shabash, very nice. Shall we go for next parameter? So all the three formulas you should write. I think you know this first formula. Fundamental frequency, it means HCF. Bolo, 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 bolo. Shall we go for next? Be active, alert, energetic, dear student. Do reply, my voice is clear or not? In last, in lecture number third or fourth, I have seen the earlier videos where voice is very low actually. Voice is very low even. I am not able to listen. So if you will feel that ki my voice is not loud and clear, you should reply in chat box. So that we can fix the mic and we can make some changes in technical. Yes or no? Right now voice is clear. Yes, Shabash. Shall we go for next now? Yes. Yeah. Nine seconds is sufficient to solve this question, guys. All of you try to solve this in air. Try to solve this without using notebook and pen. क्या बात है? Very good, Chennai Super King C S K. So what is the fundamental time period? It means fundamental time period T one is nothing but actually sir two pi by two pi sir cancel sir. So one T one is one second. I'm telling you my student can solve in verbally. I'm just explaining that is why I'm using pen. T two is equal to two pi upon three pi. अच्छा अच्छा ये कर गया pi pi. So T two is nothing but two by three second. 2 by 3 second. Achha, achha. Now some students are doing silly mistake. Jaldi jaldi mein. Jaldi jaldi mein they are doing silly mistake. They are what they are doing? They are doing 1 over 2 by 3 LCM 2 by 3. Or LCM 2 by 3 matlab 0 point ya answer de rakha option mein. Ye wrong hai. Wrong hai. So this is a scope of mistake dear student. Here we have a scope of mistake. Jaldi jaldi magar bhaago ke to mistake ho jayega. LCM upon HCF of 1 and 3. So when you will take the LCM of 1 and 2, you will get 2. When you will take the LCM of HCF of 1 and 3, you will get 1. So answer is 2 seconds. So Chennai Super King CSK. 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 Shabash. Very good. Bolo aage chale fir. Shall we go for next? Bolna padega aapko jod se. Shall we go for next? Shall we go for next? Yes. Okay, try to solve this one, guys. This question is good question. I am giving you proper time. I think one minute is sufficient. One minute is sufficient, I think. Try to solve this one. Try to solve this one, guys.
आंसर आंसर पुरुषोत्तम ऋषभ वेदई मनोज भरत आंसर वट इज आंसर बताओ 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 चलिए सब स्टूडेंट्स आर सेइंग सी ओके नो प्रॉब्लम सो यर टू पीरियोडिक सिग्नल्स एक्स टी एंड वाई टी है सेम फंडामेंटल टाइम पीरियड थ्री सेकेंड इट इज गिवन इट इज गिवन दैट दैट एक्स टी एंड वाई टी बोथ आर हैविंग द सेम फंडामेंटल टाइम पीरियड थ्री सेकेंड ओके नाउ यू शुड टेल मी कि सर जेड टी इज गिवन टू अस एंड जेड टी इज एक्चुअली इक्वल टू एक्स ऑफ माइनस टी प्लस वाई ऑफ टू टी प्लस वन and we know that ki fundamental time period is independent to time shifting time reversal amplitude reversal amplitude scaling amplitude shifting it only depends on time scaling it means if the fundamental time period of xt is 3 second then for x minus t is also 3 second so t1 is working as 3 second yes or no oh very good very good What is the fundamental time? Here, scaling factor only affects shifting factor does not. Shifting factor does not affect only scaling factor. So scaling factor means divide. Oh ho oh, oh, ho oh, oh. ho. So fundamental time period will be three by two second. Acha, acha, acha. Ye. Now Z T is the addition of two periodic signal. One is having fundamental time period three second. One is having three by two. So you should take the ratio T one upon T two rational only. So you will get. You will get what you will get. Tell me. You have to take the ratio of fundamental time period T is nothing but take the LCM of T one and T two only, only. Acha acha only. So it means fundamental time period T is nothing but LCM of three and three by two. Yeah. It means it will be actually LCM of three and three, and actually it will be HCF of one and two. So LCM of three and three is three only, and SCF of one and two is. Bolo bolo. HCF of one and two will be one only. So HCF of one and two will be one only. So answer will be three only. Answer will be option number D for Delhi only. D for Delhi only. Yeah 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 yeah. D for Delhi only. Option number D. Misha, Bash, Purushottam, and Manoj, and Rishabh also. क्या बात है ऋषभ ऑल्सो वेरी नाइस वेदई वेदई ऑलरेडी गोट द आंसर ओके क्या बात है वेरी नाइस थ्री शेल बी ऑफर नेक्स्ट नाउ बोलो बोलो जोर से बोलो जोर से बोलो ओहो ये क्वेश्चन है क्या कैन यू सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन इन टेन सेकेंड गाइस इफ यू आर माय क्लास स्टूडेंट यू कैन सॉल्व दिस गेट क्वेश्चन विद इन टेन सेकेंड कैन यू सोल्व दिस गेट क्वेश्चन विद इन टेन सेकेंड विद इन टेन सेकेंड अच्छा within 10 second puch rahe ho sir ha ha within 10 second ha within 10 second jaldi batao bataiye 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 itna aasan itna aasan question acha टू पाई अपॉन जीरो पॉइंट एट पाई खत्म क्वेश्चन सर इसका मतलब ट्वेंटी अपॉन एट इसका मतलब टेन बाई फोर इसका मतलब फाइव बाई टू इसका मतलब टू पॉइंट फाइव ऑप्शन नंबर डी फॉर दिल्ली ये डी फॉर दिल्ली डी फॉर दिल्ली मजा आ गया सर इलेक्ट्रिकल टेन क्वेश्चन टेन सेकेंड मजा आ गया सर ये बताओ जरा 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 ये बताओ जरा बच्चों कैसे होगा जल्दी बताओ ईसी इलेक्ट्रिकल आयन थर्टीन ईसी इलेक्ट्रिकल आयन थर्टीन ट्राई टू सोल्व दिस यू कैन डायरेक्टली टेक एच सी एफ बिकॉज यूर आस्किंग फॉर फ्रीक्वेंसी नॉट टाइम यूर आस्किंग फॉर फ्रीक्वेंसी नॉट टाइम
हंड्रेड वैदे का आंसर आया हंड्रेड क्या बात है वैदे क्या बात है वेरी गुड सो इफ आई टॉक अबाउट द फंडामेंटल फ्रिक्वेंसी इन रेडियन पर सेकेंड ओनली सो ओमेगा इज नथिंग बट एच सी एफ ऑफ ओमेगा वन ओमेगा टू एंड ओमेगा थ्री अच्छा अच्छा हाँ देन वॉट इट विल बी इट विल बी सर एच सी एफ ऑफ हंड्रेड फाइव हंड्रेड एंड थ्री हंड्रेड so it means hcf is nothing but 100 it means answer is nothing but ahmedabad ahmedabad only asking in radian per second ye because only asking in radian per second ye all of you guys just do reply i hope this clear to you bachcho so abhi hum mil rahe hain bachcho 1 ghante ke liye and from the next we a month we can next month or we can increase the hours also when we can increase the timing also uh, right now we are having one hour session you know if it is re required then if you will be regularly attending all and if the number of live learners increase then we can increase the time duration also okay chali so right now chapter number 1 is running hai na chapter number 1 abhi bahut chalne wala hai aage because in next class we'll discuss upcoming classes energy power bhi aane wala hai very important topic system properties fir convolution है ना सब कुछ नेक्स्ट लेवल पे हम पढ़ने वाले ईच एंड एवरी कॉन्सेप्ट वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस इन इन डिटेल विद एवरी टाइप पैटर्न ऑफ पीवाई क्यूज विल ऑल द पीवाई क्यूज आल्सो सॉल्व इन द क्लास सो यू गाइस हैव मोटिवेशन टू क्रिएट द नोट्स दोस हु आर जस्ट फॉलोइंग द इंस्ट्रक्शन सिंसियरली फ्रॉम द लेक्चर नंबर 1 लेक्चर नंबर 1 से जो शिद्दत से नोट्स बना रहा है वो चैप्टर नंबर 1 के बाद अपने नेट्स को अपने नोट्स को उठा के देख लेना एक बार अपने नोट्स को उठा के आपको प्राउड होगा बच्चों when you will see your notes after completion of chapter number 1 you will feel proud but to but to have that feeling you have to make the classroom notes in from the live youtube classes and those who are from your junior or your colleagues you can just share your experience because just now we have started okay so they can also they can also attend they can also attend in live and the remaining lecture they can complete in recording as well ओके प्यारे बच्चों हाय ना यस सर ऋषभ बोल रहा सर 600 प्लस के ऑल इन नोट्स बना रखे वेरी गुड शाबाश मेरे बेटा ऋषभ वेरी गुड बेटा ऋषभ पूरे इंडिया में बताओ यार बताओ पूरी ताकत के साथ ऋषभ जहां भी बताने का मौका मिले वहां बताओ कि आई एम द स्टूडेंट ऑफ अंकुर सर एंड स्टूडेंट जरा बताओ सबको कि काहे पड़े हो चक्कर में कोई नहीं है टक्कर में ऐसा नो चलिए स्टूडेंट इफ यू आर जूनियर्स और आर लुकिंग फॉर फॉर द द स्ट्रक्चर प्रिपरेशन गेट 24 25 यू कैन डायरेक्टली कांटेक्ट टू आवर स्टूडेंट एडवाइजरी टीम द नंबर इज गिवन इन द रेड बेल्ट रेड स्ट्रिप ओके शाबाश बेटा शाबाश वेरी गुड वेलकम वेलकम थैंक यू टू ऑल ऑफ यू बच्चो मिलते हैं कल सुबह ग्यारह बजे We'll meet tomorrow morning 11 a.m. sharp. Okay. Shavash, Shavash. Pushottam, बोल रहे थे हम start किए ही थे। हाँ तो कोई बात नहीं पुशोतम, We are here for you and for other students also. You should respond in whatever group you are there. You should share the link so that other students will also get the information. The Rangur sir is teaching live signal sense system. बताओ जरा दहाड़ के यार चलिए थैंक यू सो मच बच्चों बाय बाय लव यू विल मीट टुमारो मॉर्निंग इलेवन